guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing an intro to a really uh, fun series that I'm going to be doing in the month of May. It is going to be called the May Mask Challenge. I'm really hoping some of you join in on this. I'm going to explain what it is in just a second, but before we jump in, I have to apologize for my appearance, you guys. <laughs> I'm looking in the viewfinder and I'm looking extremely orange today. Um, I am trying to use up one of my all-nighter foundations that I have. It's the darker shade that I have own, which is the shade 3.0, and and it does normally oxidize on me a little bit, but I think it oxidized like crazy today. Um, I don't know if it's because of the primer I paired with it or what happened, but I'm feeling super orange, so please excuse that. Right off the bat, I had to start there. But anyways, let's get into what this video is about. So I had talked to you guys already on Snapchat about my wanting to do this challenge, and then I did also mention it in a video as well, but I can't remember which video it was in. I tried to go back to find it, and I cannot remember. But anyway, what I want to do is start a masking challenge for the month of May. I own a massive amount of masks, both sheet masks and like, um, you know, overnight sleeping type masks and like 15 minute, 30 minute masks, things like that. I have a huge collection of masks and recently with all of the life changes and everything going on in my life, I've noticed that I've been masking less often. Even though I feel like masking would be really beneficial for me right now because for me personally, I feel like masking and like taking baths and things like that where you're really taking care of yourself and kind of spoiling yourself in a way is very good for your mental health. Um, just showing yourself that you're worth taking the time to um, to treat yourself to, to to treat yourself to a mask, I think is very important. And I've been taking a little less time for that. And I just was like, you know what? I need to challenge myself to start using these masks more often. And since tomorrow is the first day of May, I thought it was perfect. We'll do a May masking challenge. It just sounds good. I think it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have a hashtag to go along with it, which is gonna be down in the description box. But but first I wanted to invite you guys to do this challenge with me. I think it'd be really fun to do it. Um, my goal personally, and this does not have to be your goal, but my goal is I want to mask every single night. Um, just because, like I said, my mask collection is enormous, I do have a lot of masks that are gentle enough that I can use nightly masks. Um, there, there are certain masks that you're not going to, going to want to use every single night. So if you have a smaller collection of masks and you don't have a gentle enough mask to use nightly, then I wouldn't recommend doing it that way. Um, but like I said, that's the way I'm going to do it because I have such a huge collection. And a lot of my masks are masks that are gentle enough to use on a nightly basis. I'm not going to lay out all the masks that I'm going to use for this challenge. Um, the way that I like to mask is at night after I remove my makeup, I look at my skin and see what it needs. And I did do a full mask collection video where I talked about tips and tricks on how to know what kind of masks you need based, based on you know what your skin is doing. And I will link that above because um, I, I don't want to get too much into that in this video. But this video, I just kind of wanted to introduce you to the um, challenge and let you guys know what I'm doing and invite you to do it with me. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is every single night that I pick a mask, let's say, for instance, I choose to use this Glam Glow mask. Um, this is the Thirsty Mud, by the way. I will take a picture of myself that night holding the mask with it on. And at the very end of May, probably June 1st, actually, you guys will see a video, which is my finale. I'll update you guys on any improvements I've noticed in my skin. If I've finished off any masks, that would be exciting. I'll let you know about that as well. And then I'll just kind of run through and show you all the masks that I was able to actually use during the month of May any thoughts on how the challenge went, all of that. Um, but if you guys wanted to snap photos of yourself and post it on Instagram or other social media and use the hashtag so we can follow along and see how everyone's doing. I don't think I'm gonna be posting daily videos on my Instagram because I'd like to keep an element of surprise um, with this whole masking challenge, but I will be posting here and there um, some photos of myself as well um, using the different masks. I think it's going to be a fun challenge for a few different reasons. Like I mentioned, it's going to be good for me to actually start using some of the product that I have. I have an amazing collection of masks and I feel like they're kind of going to waste right now. So this is going to really push myself to, to use them more. I also think it's going to be really good for my mental health to take that time to really, you know, 
just pamper myself and usually when I'm masking I like to sit down and read a book as well or maybe I'll do it while I'm in the bathtub or something like that so it just makes me kind of slow down and take care of myself and I think that's a very important thing to do all of the time in your life but it's but especially right now for me going through um, the you know life changes that I have going on um, it's really important for me to slow down and take time for myself so I think this is gonna be a great thing to do I think it'll be really fun to see what you guys come up with I do have a few masks that I wanted to show you guys real quick because when I mentioned this on my video a lot of you expressed concern about you know it's not safe to mask every single night and I do agree there are certain masks um, that you are not going to want to use on a nightly basis. But I do have some recommendations for some um, some masks that are gentle enough to use more on a nightly basis. So I'll show you some of those. The first one was the Thirsty Mud from Glam Glow. Um, this is basically like an intense moisturizer. So you can even use it as a moisturizer, but if you wanted to use it as a mask, you can um, sleep with it on. It's so gentle you can put it on and sleep with it on and use it as a sleeping mask, or you can apply a, a generous layer and leave it on for 15 to 30 minutes and rinse it Way. So this is one that is gentle enough to use on a nightly basis. It's very hydrating. Um, it's not one you're going to want to use all the time if you have oily skin because you won't need that extra hydration. But this is definitely a recommendation for like a more gentle mask. Also sheet masks are great because they're a, a lot more gentle as well. So I have a few sheet masks that I would recommend. So anything that is like this one from Pure. Um, this is the Pure Quick Pro Mask. Uh, by the way, I got this one from Octoly. A lot of this I got from Octoly. Anyway, this one is the quick pro mask this one is a, a hydrating and uh, brightening mask so this one's very gentle I could definitely use that one nightly also this one from Tony Moly these ones don't give a ton of benefits so I feel like the Tony Moly ones are more like just hydrating and relaxing so definitely that's something you could use on a nightly basis um, anything that's like soothing or hydrating is usually pretty um, gentle enough to use more regularly like this one from Dr. Jart is their soothing hydro solution um, and then this one is another illuminating mask this is from Patchology Patchology makes some of my favorite sheet masks this one is again um, from Aqua Octoly. I did receive this through Octoly. This is their flash mask illuminating mask. These ones are only five minute masks too. So if you're in more of a hurry, they have a whole flash mask line. Um, there's some that are for hydration, some that are for moisture, same thing. <laughs> this one is for illuminating, um, but these ones are quicker. Also, I was going to recommend if you don't want, if you feel like you don't want to overdo it with the sheet masks or face masks, even just doing like an, an eye mask, I'm going to also maybe one night use an eye mask in lieu of a face mask. I think that's totally still counts. It's a masking month, but um, any kind of mask. So I have a couple here. The number seven are my favorite. I love these ones. Um, they're more of a gel um, under eye mask. And then this one here is from Maskology. These are also like a gel mask. This one came from Octoly as well. And then sticking with the whole like getting outside of the face mask. So if you didn't want to do a face mask, but you still want to participate in the challenge for the night, um, you could also do like a foot mask or a hand mask. I don't have any hand masks to show you, but a hand mask too or a lip mask, anything like that. Um, any kind of masking. I mean, I just want this to be fun. You don't have to follow any specific rules, but I just thought I'd give you guys some extra ideas on how you can participate every single day without like feeling like you need to do a nightly mask. But this one is again from Patch Patchology, also from uh, through the Octoly app. This is their Posh Peel Pedicure. So I'm definitely going to be using these one of those nights. I need to use those really bad, so that'll give me an excuse to finally get in there and do it. And then I got this brand new mask I wanted to show you guys, actually. Um, this one I have not tried yet. It's still in the box. This is from First Aid Beauty. And I've been really into turmeric products recently. I actually just used a turmeric sheet mask. Um, I can't remember the brand, but it was in my last empties video. Um, but turmeric is really good for brightening. And um, anyway, this is from First Aid Beauty. This is called the Ginger and Turmeric Vitamin C Jelly Mask. So it's a jelly consistency, which makes me think it's going to be more gentle, but I have not tried this yet. I just received this from Octoly, so I haven't had a chance to try it yet. Um, but I will let you know, because I'm definitely going to be using this during the masking challenge. So those are just a few different ideas of how you can participate. Also, like an overnight mask. So overnight masks are really gentle. This one is from Fresh. This is their black tea firming overnight masks. So anyway, there's just a few different ideas of how you can participate. And like I said, if you don't have a big mask collection, but you want to just do like a weekly um, participation or something like that, I just think it'd be fun for us to all work together on using our product and pampering ourselves and showing our own selves some self-loves. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. I think it'll be fun to follow along and see how it goes. I can't wait to see your guys' pictures and what you post. I am planning to do a two week update just to kind of let you guys know where I'm at. I feel like if I just do an update at the very end of June or end of May, first of June, there will be too many masks because if I do follow through with a mask a day, that will be 31 masks. So I think I'm going to update you guys right in the middle of the month and then again at the end of the month to let you know how it's going and what I've been using and all of that. But I hope you guys enjoy doing this project with me. I think it's going to be a fun thing to do. Let me know down below in the comment section if you're planning to participate and um, don't forget to check out that hashtag so that you can join in the fun and I hope you guys enjoy this. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Guys. Nice.